fascinated with people from other countries and their cultures. Uh, this began when our family used to take summer trips to see our, our maternal grandparents who lived in South Bend, Indiana. Uh, they were Polish, and they used to speak Polish together. And I remember as a little girl thinking, I wish I could understand what they're saying, a secret language. So I'd go to my grandfather, and I'd say, Grandpa, would you please teach me some Polish? And he'd say, well, what do you want to learn? And he'd make lists and lists. And, but the vacation was only a couple of weeks, and I'd have my list of papers. Needless to say, I never learned Polish. But it stuck with me. That fascination grew with me. And in high school, if there was an exchange student, they were either my friend or I dated them. <laughs> and in college, it was the same. <laughs> so um, I was lucky enough to find a major that mixed my passion with this international culture and um, reality, which was business. So I studied international business in Spanish, uh, thinking I, I'm going to travel the world. I'm going to go explore now. So I was lucky enough to be able to do exchange in Costa Rica and Mexico. And uh, that's kind of the beginning of everything. Uh, I was lucky enough to get a job in Mexico, where I lived for seven years. I became fluent in Spanish and fell in love with the culture and the subcultures and just amazed in all the different traditions and practices and food and music. And I just, I wanted it all. It was a, all amazing and not Mexico in particular, I was there, but, but anyone I encountered that was uh, from different cultures. So that's where I lived for seven years and that's where I met my husband, uh, Ernesto. And we just, uh, we got married five years ago, and we have three young boys. So needless to say, with being married to a Mexican, we travel off into Mexico and visit family. So on one particular trip to Mexico, I had, I, I had twin boys, and they were four months old. And we traveled to Mexico City, and we stayed at a relative's house. And something to know about Mexico is that it's kind of like New York. They, they're all uh, houses that look like apartment buildings. It's not particularly pretty from the outside, but inside they're beautiful homes, gorgeous homes taken care of, and each one with their individual style. Uh, the second thing to know is that most middle class families have housekeepers, and not one, mostly uh, two, and if not uh, more than that. So what's important to know about these housekeepers are that they are part of the family. These are women who start living with the family when they're 13 or 14, and they live there and help take care of the home until, they're di until they die. And they become part of the family. They are part of the family. The house is their house, and they not only you know, cook your meals for you and, and help you with the clothing and the kids, um, they are really part of your family, and you love them like your family. And it's also to know that these housekeepers come from small towns from outside of Mexico City that have that are they have very humble and they're very humble and they have these traditions, uh, very rich traditions, and they're probably about this tall. They're nice women. And this particular house that we stayed with in a family. Um, the housekeeper there was Maria, and she was this tall, she was round and lovely and wanted to help, whatever I need, she was there to help me. And I, I said, thank you, Maria. And at this time, as I mentioned, um, we had twin four-month-old boys. Like most breastfeeding mothers, uh, I, um, well, actually, what I want to say, like most mothers, uh, the, the breastfeeder are the children, and... Um, in order to have the husbands help us with some of the work so we don't have to stay up all night long, we use breast pumps to uh, pump our breasts <laughs> uh, so they can help. So I'm going to get into a story. Um, I'm not, 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 not quite there. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> so let's say I'm here in Mexico, and I, it was the second day, and I had pumped some breast milk, and I went to the refrigerator, and I put in my breast milk, and I wanted to go over to Maria, and I told her, Maria, 
Um, I, I just want to let you know I put some gas in, in, in the refrigerator just so you don't throw it out um, or use it. <laughs> and she says, muy bien, muy bien, very good. Um, Te puedo pedir un favor. Can I ask you a favor? Sí, María. What, what name? Could you please spare me a little bit of your breast milk? Hey, well, what awesome Mexican recipe do you know of? <laughs> 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 no, I, I like to use it for my eyes. Mis ojos. For your eyes, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with curing the elements in my eyes. And I thought, no, that sounds kind of surprising, but not so surprising. You know, we hear from the pediatricians that breastfeeding your children is the, the best medicine. It's, it has great antibodies, and it's great for the immune system. So it was kind of logical. Uh, it, it didn't sound too far from crazy for me. And I thought, you know, <laughs> maybe please, yes, use the breast milk. No. Go ahead. No, no, I, I need the breast milk fresh. <laughs> Okay, well, next time I pump, I will bring you some fresh breast milk, and I will um, give that to you. So four hours later, I went to um, pump some breast milk, and I had a clean glass, which was going to be fresh for Maria, and I separated it for her, and uh, I went out to the kitchen, and I said, Maria, here's your breast milk, and I was so happy. She, she's so loving and giving, and I felt like I could finally give something back to the people who are so kind that, that help around the house. Here's your breast milk for your eyes. And she kind of looked at me. No. I need fresh. Fresco. Fresco. La leche fresco. Well, it's fresh. I just popped it. No. Fresco. Fresh. From your chichi. <laughs> Maria, I, from, I don't even, what? <laughs> okay, but where? I mean, where? I mean, okay, where? Oh, come here with me, come, come. And so, she takes me right back to the laundry room. And there's Maria. And I'm looking over Maria. Maria. I'm going to squirt. <laughs> Nothing, 
has the wrinkle cream. I'm going to use this. This is fantastic. Why am I paying all this money for these other anti wrinkle creams? So, but I'm thinking this is not working with the shirt. And she obviously doesn't mind breasts in her face. So I just say, I move on with a vision and I just take off the shirt, I take off the bra. I am ready to cure your eyes, Maria. I am ready. So she's ready, she's wiping that on her face. Here we go, Maria. And I'm going to squirt, and here we go. I'm getting it out. Squirt, squirt, squirt. I get it in the left eye, she's yawning. I get it in the right eye, and she's running her. Oh, oh, yes. Can you feel it? It's true, she's working. Oh, and she lays there, and I'm feeling it. Put the shirt down over me. Thinking, I did this. <laughs> Curing this woman with this woman's movement. And she's just, oh, my eyes are so good. And then she gets up off of the table, she walks to the mirror, and she says, Look, look, the red is gone. I'm cured. Oh, that is good, my dear. And I can see better. Okay, if you say so. It kind of sounds like a far stretch, but if you say so. And I'm and I'm sitting there just amazed, a little dumbfounded, and but proud. <laughs> I'm proud that my breast milk cured this woman's eyes. And I'm thinking, yes, breast milk. I'm gonna use this on my baby all the time. <laughs> So Maria gets up and she's very thankful and I'm happy to have helped her and, and have a mutual exchange and, and you know the things that she's given me and helping with and, and giving us something back and she says thank you and I say, mm, you know, if you need any more, you just let me know. <laughs> and we go on our way. So that was the end. So I thought. So, you know, the day went on and we go past each other and then the next morning I go into the kitchen and I say, Buenos dias, Maria. Como estas? And how are you? Good morning. Muy bien. Very good. Thank you. My eyes are great. And I said, Oh, very good. She goes, Let me present you to my daughter, Anita. <laughs> she has an ear infection. <laughs>